Welcome back to the LAC3 video training series. This video will focus on the last step in the LAC workflow, the configuration tab. Once an array design is completed in the mapping tab, clicking the configuration tab will reveal the mechanical settings and suspension data associated with that array. On the right hand side of the screen, the array is pictured in orange along with the default selected suspension hardware, which will be drawn in white. Yellow vertical lines represent the array's suspension points and the single blue line represents the vertical center of gravity for reference. Under the options section, the frame angle that was previously set in the mapping tab is displayed and can be adjusted if needed. The suspension points dropdown displays all of the possible suspension point quantity and location possibilities for the given system type. This information is dependent on the available accessories for each system. Detailed information on each system's rigging and suspension hardware can be found in the respective product's rigging manual. Changing the suspension point type or quantity will update the vertical yellow suspension point lines in the right hand graphic. Below the suspension points drop down is a cable weight field. As cable weight is added, a purple arrow is displayed coming down from the array frame to indicate the cable pick point and weight. In single point hangs, cable weight hanging off the back of an array will shift the center of gravity. Adding estimated cable weight helps to ensure an array's final frame angle is deployed as expected. Under the array frame section, product specific array frames and their individual parameters are displayed. Only frames that meet the selected suspension point type and quantity selected above will be displayed as options. The selected array frame will be pictured above the array in the top right corner of the screen. Orange dots on the frame's shackle holes represent the suspension points as currently configured. Dual point configurations will show two orange points. And the shackle holes used on the frame can be changed using the arrows next to the front and rear control point. With a single point suspension method selected, the orange dot represents the configured array's center of gravity. When the center of gravity does not land on a shackle hole, a parameter will need to be modified to allow the shackle to be set in a predefined hole on the array frame. For array frames equipped with the Precision Shackle Alignment System, the extension bar position can be shifted here without adjusting the array frame angle. Cycle through the A, B, and C extension bar position options to find a position that allows the array's center of gravity to line up with a shackle hole. For frame types that do not have the Precision Shackle System, the array angle will need to be adjusted to land on a shackle position. For dual point front to back suspension points, the pullback section allows for the rear point to be connected to a pullback accessory if one is available for the system chosen. When a pullback accessory is selected, the array image is updated to show the accessory at the bottom of the array, and the yellow suspension point line is shown connected. The Array Statistics section of the Configuration tab displays critical mechanical data for the array as configured. Total array weight and the weight on each suspension point is displayed with the system safety factor calculated and displayed directly below. The attachment span is displayed to aid the positioning hoist points in a two-point suspension setup. This is the horizontal dimension between the two suspension points as configured. System length and depth is printed just below. In some situations, the array geometry, weight, or suspension accessories chosen may produce a suspension safety factor that is below a safe limit. In cases where a dangerous or impossible suspension configuration is selected, LAC will print a bold red error above the array image. Corrective action must be taken to resolve these mechanical errors by changing suspension points, accessories, frame angle, or system geometry, depending on the error given. When an array suspension configuration is safely finalized, the design can be exported to the ArrayLink mobile application by clicking the QR code in the bottom left of the screen and scanning it with the app. All relevant mechanical information is stored in the QR code so a connection to the internet is not required to transfer this information to ArrayLink. Once scanned, crews will have all the information needed to safely deploy the system designed stored on their phones in the field. Additionally, system configurations can be exported to a PDF using the export PDF function in the main menu. LAC will output a single page document with all the array's relevant information recorded which can be saved, emailed, or distributed to crews in the field. Additional export options under the main menu include a DXF 3D model of the array, 
which can be imported into any 3D modeling software, and an Ease GLL export. Thank you for watching.